Today is my birthday and I turned 53 years old. I just want to discuss some things that I have learned in my 53 years of living. One thing I love about being a middle-aged woman is I have experienced a lot. In this video, I'm going to share some lessons that I have learned in life. Some things that I share, I hope that they will help you on your journey. This is an old saying, but it is true. Life is short. Even though I'm 53 years old, it feels like just the other day that I was a teenager. And it's still hard for me to believe that I am a grown middle-aged woman with grown children and with grandkids. Life is short. So you want to learn how to enjoy every moment of your life and don't take it for granted. So now that I know that life is short, you don't want to focus on other people's shortcomings, especially family members. A lot of the stuff that irritate us about a certain family member, you don't realize it then, but a lot of things that we focus on that upset us is things that's petty, things that's not important, but if you pay attention to it enough, it can still time and it can keep you upset with your loved ones. So I am learning that no one is perfect because I'm not perfect and don't focus on the little things. All it does is hinder you from having a good relationship with your loved ones. So as a wife, a mom, a grandmom, a sister, a friend, as a leader, I'm learning to focus on the good things about people because all the other little stuff doesn't really matter. Be careful with who you connect yourself to, especially in a relationship. A lot of times we as women, when we're single, the first person that proposes to us, we are in a rush to get married. So we accept that person's proposal, but we don't take the time and make sure that this is the right person for us. We spend so much more time with planning our wedding and trying to make that the best day of our lives, but not sitting down and thinking about if this is the right person for you to marry. Marriage is supposed to be a lifetime thing. So instead of spending so much time and money on a ceremony, take out some of that time and money and spend in counseling just to make sure that this is the right person for you because a marriage can build you up or bring you down. So you want to make sure that you accept the right proposal. A bad relationship can destroy your life. And a lot of times it's not easy just to get out of. Some people never recover from a bad relationship. So it's just good to take your time. You reap what you sow. You want to be careful about how you treat people. This may sound cliche, but it is the truth. You get back what you put out. In other words, whatever you plant, that's what harvest that you are going to reap. If you notice that in your life, if you always seem to get a lot of negativity, especially in your relationships with people, you want to make sure that you're not the cause of the conflict that you have in your life, that you are sowing good seeds. I want respect from people and it's very important to me. So I try to make sure that I give respect out so that I can receive it in return. You are your behavior and your behavior dictates your life. So if you want better relationships, make sure that you are doing your part in return. Now, this is very important. Find a job that you love. Most people, including myself, when you're getting ready to go to college, the first thing you do, instead of thinking about what you love, what you really want to do, you kind of start looking at the pay, how much this particular career will pay. And we allow that to influence our decision of where we want to work. And one thing that we don't think about is that your job is where you're going to spend the majority of most of your life. So you want to make sure that you are doing something that you love, something that you're not going to regret every morning when you have to go to work. Time is valuable. 
So you want to make sure that you're spending your time and things that you enjoy doing. You will need God throughout your life. One of the best investments that I made with my life is having a good relationship with God. And I know that if I didn't have a good relationship with God, that I wouldn't be able to function now. And I know that the only reason why that I feel peace and that I am happy, it is because of me having a good relationship with God. In life, you never know what's going to happen. But one thing's for sure that if you have God on your side, you can handle whatever task that you are going to have to go through in life because you have him to lean on, to help you, to strengthen you in areas in your life that you are weak at. When I think about my mom, I lost her in July of 2020. I do know that the only way that I was able to handle it, it is because of God, Him giving me strength. When I think about my marriage, the majority of my whole marriage, I have been happy, but I have had some difficult seasons. And I know that I would not be able to have made it without God's help. God has been so many things to me. And I know personally that when you feel like your heart is broken, He will mend a broken heart. When you lose close loved ones in your life and you feel that you can't make it, I know personally that if you just lean on God for strength, that He will carry you through. And I will tell anyone that The best thing that you can do with your life, and that is to develop a good relationship with God. Embrace self-development. Self-development was a game changer for me. I had a huge issue with self-doubt, low self-esteem, and every so often, God would speak to me about certain things that he wanted me to do. I wasn't able to accomplish those things because I was afraid. I felt that I didn't have what it took. So when I started working on myself and started doing things that frightened me, that's when God freed me. And I would not have ever been able to do what I do now if it wasn't for me realizing that I had a problem. So if you suffer with any type of self-doubt, low self-esteem, you want to work on that. Because if not, it will hinder you. You won't be able to accomplish what God has called you to do because you will be too afraid. It took me a long time to realize that I was my worst enemy. I was nice to everybody else but myself. Self-talk and what you believe about yourself, it does hinder you in life. So you have to be careful about the way that you think and talk to yourself because it will manifest in your behavior and it will also be a huge hindrance. And you won't be able to do what God has called you to do because of self-doubt. So I want to encourage you to believe in yourself, to love yourself and know that you are capable. Just do it. If God puts something in your heart, just do it. Don't worry about the skills or the money that you don't have. Whatever you need, if you start doing what God has called you to do or that he has put into your spirit of doing, he will handle the rest. All you have to do is be obedient and step out on faith. I have a question for you. What have you have experienced in life that has changed the way that you think or feel or who you are? Please share it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you just want to support me, support me by subscribing and also share this video with a friend. Thank you for joining and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.